Hi, my name is Michelle Schaefer. I'm principal here at Fairhope Elementary School. Welcome to our school. Uh, we were really excited. Our test scores came back. We did phenomenal this year. Uh, third grade, we had 100% passage in reading and 98 in math. Um, that's a tribute to the staff that we have here at school and also our kids. They try really, really hard. The staff's very innovative. They're never satisfied with what they do from year to year. They're always taking a look at things and trying to make things better. And it just seems like we found the right combination this year to become an Ohio Excellent Rated School. One of our other designations that we received last year was the State School of Promise. Uh, that is based upon our test scores that we had last year and also uh, your free and reduced lunch and how many students you have that qualify for that. And we were very fortunate. We were one of six schools in Stark County recognized as a State School of Promise. We received a letter from the State Superintendent and also this banner to hang in our gym. One of the things that we do out here at Fairhope Elementary is each class comes up with a mission statement. The teachers sit down with the students and they work on a mission statement that's going to work for their classroom. After they come up with their mission statement, they brainstorm with their teacher based on the state standards, three goals, at least three goals each nine weeks that they would like to work on. They write their, their goals classroom. together and they come up with those goals together and then they also have data folders where they record their progress and they sit down with their teacher they with announce their teacher. what their mission statement is and they announce their retired goals. They take a victory celebration lap, we clap for each goal that's retired and we put it on a retired goal board. The second nine weeks starts and they go back with their teachers and they decide what they're going to work on for the second nine weeks. Again, that progress is monitored in their data folder. We've been doing this now for probably about eight or ten years. One of the nice things is too that we take our data notebook and our children actually do student-led conferences with their parents when we have conferences in the fall and in the spring. So they're taking ownership for their learning along with the teachers. It's just a combined effort and it seems to work very, very well for our kids.